Good morning, everybody. Here's Raz Purcell from Tyco Centrum Deutschland. Today we're going to do a quick video on basic stance, basic grip, and basic strike technique. Have fun. Let's get started. All right, so here we are in front of our Tyco, ready to start playing. So the first thing we're going to learn is how we stand behind the Tyco. So if I'm, this is my Tyco, this is my electronic Tyco. So I'm going to, first thing, measure the distance between the drum and my hara. Your hara is the center of your body or your core. So I'm gonna measure from here to my hara, and I want to have one and a half to two bachi lengths, depending on how tall you are. I usually go for just over one and a half bachi lengths. Next step, I'm going to stand wide, so I want to stand wider than the drum. Yeah. So if I'm looking at the drum, I want my feet, if I trace a line from my feet going forward, I want my feet to be on the outside of my drum. So right now my drum could be like this big, right? If it's bigger, I want to stand even wider. From here, I'm going to move my left foot forward, my right foot back, maybe about uh, 15 centimeters for each of those feet, just till it's comfortable. And then I'm gonna bend my knees, very important. Your left knee is gonna be bent more than your right knee. Left knee is bent uh, so that the, the knee comes just above the ankle. And your right leg, um, just keep the knee loose, but the leg should stay fairly straight. And then we're gonna stretch our arms forward, nice and straight, so that the, the uh, end of the bocce are pointing towards the drum. And from here, you might notice my bocce are a little bit far back on the drum, and I want them closer towards the center. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna keep my upper body straight and from my hips, I'm just going to tip a tiny bit forward. And watch the difference. Here's with my body perfectly straight. My bocce are at the rear of the drum. I'm gonna tip forward from my hips just a tiny bit and that brings my bocce right into the middle of the drum. And now I'm ready to play. So that's our basic stance. Now let's take a look at the grip. So for the grip, we're gonna to move to our close-up camera so you can see this a little better. So here is the grip for Tyco playing. Your grip is going to be open and relaxed all the time. So I'm not gripping the bocce tightly. I'm keeping it open and loose so that the bocce have freedom to move around in your hands. The way we do this is first, I like to Imagine that I'm a karate expert and I'm going to chop a board in half with my hand. I'm going to do a karate chop. So my hand stays nice and straight. My palm is facing the opposite direction. My hand, so this is my left hand, so my palm is facing to the right. With my right hand, my palm would be facing to the left. So we've got our hand straight. And then from here, we're going to move the thumbs down. And from here, I can take a bachi and I can place it lightly into my, into my grip here. And then I'll turn to the side and I'm gonna bring the fingers lightly around the bocce so that the finger pads are all resting lightly on the bocce. So that looks like this. The thumb, always make sure your thumbs are off to the side. And this is because we want the bocce to travel back and forwards. It needs to have freedom to move back and forth, back, forth. So with both hands, my grip, thumb off to the side, finger pads lightly touching the bocce, and the bocce has freedom to move back and forward, and the grip stays loose and relaxed all the time. At the basic strike, when we're hitting a loud strike on the taiko, the basic strike has four positions. So position one is going to be up here. I'll do it with my left hand. So position one's here. The bocce is a, an extension of my arm. It's pointing straight up and forward. There's position one. Position two is a little more difficult. We're going to pull the bocce just lightly towards our face, like this, towards the side of our head. So position one, position two. The bocce stays pointing forward. The palm of my hand stays 
still facing the opposite direction. So this is my left hand. My palm is still pointing to the right. My elbow is high and tucked in. I'm not pointing my elbow out, but rather keeping it in line with my, with my uh, forearm. So again, here's position one. The arm is pointing straight forward. Position two, now my elbow is pointing straight forward. The bachi is coming towards the side of my head, but still pointing forward. Position one, two. Two things to watch out for here. The first one is when you come from position one to two, don't rotate your hand like this. Keep the hand straight, one to two. The second thing to watch out for is that when you come from position one to position two, that the bachi doesn't fall back or point back. Position one, position two, the bachi stays pointing forwards. So one, two. From here, we're gonna go to position three where the arm is just gonna drop farther down towards the drum. And the end of the bachi now is going to be facing or pointing towards the drum head. So again, from one, two, three. One, two, three. And then position four, we're just gonna use our pinky finger and ring finger, these last two fingers, to lightly close the grip and throw the bachi forward. It's not going to be a strong, tight grip, but rather really loose and relaxed. Lightly close the grip and throw the bachi forwards towards the drum. And that's four. So we have one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. And there's your basic strike. So if you can see, what's actually happening is the bachi is going to complete a half circle, starting here an oval. And it's going to travel down this way and go to here and throw forward. And it's going to complete the oval as it goes back up. It's going to travel down like this and forward and complete the circle. So in my strike, it goes back up, strike, and back up. Strike and back up one more time. Strike and back up. Good. So that's your basic strike technique. All right. I hope that was helpful and uh, have fun practicing. We'll see you in the next video.